Insects are many things to many people. I think of them as elegant solutions to a shifting set of problems. Indeed, all evolutionary processes could be viewed as problem-solving in action. Humans are particularly attuned to problems and solutions because we're so very good at creating problems for ourselves. As one example of that, I'm pretty sure I've seen many people working on their ESA presentations during and right up to the deadline of their sessions. I certainly can speak for the members of our group, and I believe that we're not the only ones. And that's just a small example of creating problems and then solving them. The fact is that that small and amusing example is mirrored in the much, much larger examples that we have regarding excuse me, regarding our species. And the fact is that insects, which do so many things to us and for us, I mean, let's think about entomology. Let's think about most of the papers that are here. People want to stop insects from doing what they're doing, or in a few cases, they want to help the good insects, the pollinators. So it's all about getting in there and messing with insect processes of digestion or reproduction, etc., etc. Well, that's fine. But insects represent some wonderfully elegant solutions in terms of food production and consumption. The problem is that those assumptions, the, excuse me, that those uh, solutions are ignored and not developed. And that's to some extent, to a great extent, what we're here to address. The subject invites us to reassess our place in the world around us, and that's not an easy thing to do. With that in mind, please consider the following words. In entering upon this work, I am fully conscious of the difficulty of battling against a long existing and deeply rooted public prejudice. I only ask of my readers a fair hearing, an impartial consideration of my arguments, and an unbiased judgment. Those words introduced the book, Why Not Eat Insects, published in 1885 by Vincent Holt. 1885. The world has changed a lot since 1885, and the subject of entomology has developed magnificently. Yet the words that Vincent Holt published in 1885 are still just as true today. And we can no longer afford the luxury of ignoring the solutions that insects offer us. So therefore, the papers that you're going to hear today offer these kinds of solutions of developing insects in the ways to help us most, most primally and most powerfully. And I very much hope that you can take something away from this. What we're, what we're proposing, I think, is nothing any less grand than what Norman Borlaug was trying to do with the Green Revolution. He was hailed a hero. Any entomologists that take on work involving entomophagy can also be heroes. I mean, who doesn't want to be a hero? Sounds kind of nice. We are all here because of Gene Defoliart, and this symposium is dedicated to him. You'll be hearing more about him very presently. Uh, the circle of people working in this subject is very, very small. We would like some company. That's what we're trying to do here today. Uh, one of our speakers, Rosanna Yao, said recently that our work is kind of like composing a to-do list. We're just... Uh, please pardon the posters. They don't want to... No. So, uh, our work is kind of like composing a to-do list. We're just getting started. Address annual ESA meeting. Check. Thank you very much.